So I'm so excited for market season. What should I do in terms of having more time for markets during the summertime? I got pink printer papers. My goal is to finish eight of these coasters today. These are all the coasters for orders. My mantra era. I just placed the order for Monday everyone. I am so excited to finally be filming another studio vlog again. I did film some bits last week but it was one not enough to make a full video with and two I was just so unwell for the whole video as I was like watching back the footage and I just thought that it was probably better that I just didn't upload the clips. So therefore no studio vlog was posted last week. I just uploaded the wholesale tips video so that's up and good. I filmed it and rough edited it last night and then I added all like the titles and went in and did like the intricate editing this morning and it's now uploaded which is wonderful. I now am going to print out some packing slips that I got some new wholesale orders over the weekend and last week so I'm going to print those out. I got pink printer paper so I can use pink as my invoice slips. I asked you guys on Instagram if I should get it when I was at Staples. I saw it and I was like this is impulse buy and I need to know if I need to do it or not and so I did and everyone said yes literally like I think 400 people responded to that story and said yes. So I did it and I'm gonna print them out and see how they look and then we're gonna get a new punch needle frame set up and get the designs traced on it so that we can get ready to punch out some designs. I wanna finish a frame by tomorrow and I also need to work on the punch needle boxes first coaster design. That is like something that I need to remember to do on this frame because sometimes I get overwhelmed with all the amount of orders I need to do and then I forget to actually add a space to do that and that's what I've done like the past couple of frames but this frame like actually needs to be done and I need to make space for the punch needle coaster design. I also picked up my bag of yarn last week and like that I ordered wholesale from the yarn store that I buy it from and I only picked up one bag. Apparently there was two so I have to go back tomorrow. I was supposed to go back on Wednesday but honestly I was just so unwell that I didn't even want to get up and go anywhere so I'm gonna go pick that up tomorrow because they're closed today and then we'll have all of the yarn that I have that I need in stock so we can get started on the kits. I need to make the coaster design first and I actually need to make two, one for photos and one to actually see how much yarn there is, unless I measure the yarn as I'm doing it. So we'll see what works better for me. I think honestly it might be better if I just make two of them and then pull out the yarn of one design so I can measure it and that probably will just be the easiest and the most accurate. So we'll see. I don't know yet what I'm gonna do. Um, I think that's kind of all the updates I really have. So that is the plan. Since being sick with norovirus or food poisoning or whatever it was, I haven't been able to drink coffee because I don't like the taste of it at the moment. I don't know what's going on, but my taste buds have changed. I don't really like a lot of foods that I used to like, and I don't know if that's like an actual thing or if it's just placebo. I do have a Pilates class today at one o'clock, so we're gonna get a bunch of stuff done before that. I have to get a box to package up that order that I was supposed to package up last week, but didn't end up doing. I have no boxes. There was a tragedy that happened um, around Christmas time last year. My mom threw out all of my boxes that I've been collecting for like I don't know, eight months. She did it on accident, so I will allow it and I won't get too sad about it. I did get a little sad when uh, I realized that she threw them all away, but it's okay, I'll just collect more boxes, but that's why I have to go and find another box or buy another box because I don't have any to use and I've used all of the boxes that I can. And the boxes I have are way too big for that. It will just break. Anyway, so. That is the plan. I'm gonna get started on doing the new frame. I'm gonna make sure that I really get the frame taut. I don't want any mistakes this week because we have a lot on the agenda this week. So I need to make sure that no frame is gonna bust open, break, rip, whatever, because 
we need to get it going. So let's get this frame done and then after the frame and we draw the designs, I may punch the go for like an hour depending we'll see because I have a small business vlogs to catch up on so I might punch needle while I watch some of those and then we'll get to some other stuff tracing all of the designs on the frame this is what we're looking like I got the kit design sorted and figured out I'll share with you guys more about the kit design once I finish the frame and kind of I've changed my mind slightly on the design and how I want to do it because when I launch it it's gonna be spring so I want to follow like spring theme and I kind of want to launch a box every month but i feel like for the first couple of months it's going to be every other month but i want to do a new design every single month and i kind of want to start with easier and then slowly progress into some more intricate designs but right now i'm going to get started on punch needling for a bit i do have a couple of things i want to print out first in terms of orders and then maybe get them sorted and squared away and then we'll punch needle for a bit I'll punch needle until I'll probably just punch needle until Pilates actually and then after Pilates I will grab a box at Staples and once I've grabbed the box I will then come back and package up that order and then eat lunch and all that kind of stuff so I'll see you guys once I am finished punch needle and probably when I'm back from Pilates Okay guys, so I'm back from Pilates now. I got three things while I was at Staples. They were having like a sale on like literally everything. So I picked up this little business card holder. Market season is coming up and I have a white one, but I feel like I just don't know where it is. So, and I've also been wanting the pink one. Every time I go there, I look at all the pink pop and stuff. So I picked up the, the this one, it was on sale. And then I also needed a new SD card because I only have like five and I keep rotating between all of them. And a lot of my SD cards are 128 gigabytes. I actually don't know where they are, but a lot of them are 128 gigabytes. And that only gives me like two hours worth of footage. And it's usually never enough to film a week's worth of vlogs if I'm filming every single day. So I picked up this 256 one. The reason I liked the other one that's 512 but in its Kingston brand and it's like a little green one but it doesn't shoot 4k video and I film in 4k edit in 4k and post in 4k so I need an SD card that can obviously film in 4k because then there's absolutely no point of me having the 4k setting on here so I got this one and it says 4k ultra HD on the card so let's hope that it's good quality I don't really know like what is a good quality SD card and what is not like I don't know what the difference is between like a shitty brand and a good brand so Lexar is the one I know the best and therefore I'm going to use that. I'm going to try and punch needle as much as I can. I don't have to make dinner because there's leftovers so I'm pretty much just going to be working all night long. Also before I go I just wanted to say that I will be filming market vlogs. I know that I've had a couple people mention that on my channel and in the comments and ask me if I'm going to be doing something like that. Yes, this year I am going to be filming. I'm a lot more consistent now when it comes to filming and just filming my weeks. So we're going to be doing market prep vlogs. We're going to be doing actual market day vlogs. I think they may be two separate videos. Like we'll be prepping and then we'll do a full market day vlog. We'll see because me filming in pub public is so frightening. Like genuinely makes me scared. So we'll see. 
um, but I will try to film as much like market day stuff and then we can do like a market recap. I know that um, Jessica from Archery Corner does the best market videos. So if you guys are interested in watching like the best programmed, filmed, edited, everything market blog wise. And she shares so much about the market, like the market that she's going to, what goes into prep and all that kind of stuff. Definitely check it out. I know I mentioned Jessica's channel here a lot, but literally I watch all of her videos. I'm obsessed. So if you are interested in market stuff, I know that she has market season is approaching for every small business owner. And she, I think, is going to be participating in a good handful amount of market so if you're interested in market vlogs alongside mine that I'm gonna be doing you can watch Jessica's because I know she does some and then Brenna also does market vlogs as well she has a ton from last year and then I'm pretty sure she's gonna be doing markets again this year so you can keep a lookout for those love supporting my fellow Queenies in the community of small business youtubers anyway I have ranted and raved a lot a lot of you guys say that you like when I do more chitty chat vlogs but I think that I'm taking that and running with it so maybe don't tell me to talk more because I will talk your ear off. So let's get to packaging up this order or attempting to and then we'll continue with punch needle because I need to get these things punched out and ready to go. finished punch needling yet I just wanted to pop in and give an update my goal is to finish eight of these coasters today which is what I normally do but uh, or eight of the mug rugs so I have the white to finish now a couple of other like straggler colors for the evil eye and then I have to finish the light pink Okay, so I finished the eight that I wanted to get done. I'm getting a little bit annoyed because I'm getting a little bit annoyed because the frame is like loosening up around the edges, especially like right around here at the top of this evil eye. Like it's really loose and I don't know why. And I'm getting like a little bit annoyed because like I've been using this fabric and this needle for a long time and it's never given me this much issues and then right around the time where I decide oh like I'm gonna switch my business and fully focus on punch needle and really just like try to do punch needle stuff it's not working and it's giving me so much trouble like I want to find a new fabric the other fabric that I tried doesn't work and it ripped I have to try it again and I just like don't have the time I feel like I want to like pause on wholesale for like a month so I can kind of like get my feet back on the ground and kind of get a grip on a lot of the things that I've been putting off because I've always been so busy because I have been consistently getting tons and tons and tons of wholesale orders for Bunch Needle since like June, July. And I'm not complaining. I am extremely grateful and it is so amazing that I can even begin to say like this is a great problem to have but I've been neglecting a lot of other parts of my business in terms of like new product launches, getting my website up to date, focusing on, you know, interacting with, with my customers online and making content because I still love to make content, not only like studio vlogs, but I love to make like content on Instagram and posts and stuff like that. And I just feel like I'm not able to do any of that stuff because I'm just constantly so busy with punch needle. And again, I'm so happy and so grateful for that and it is a great problem to have that I'm so busy and have no time for anything else but I really want to focus on some other things so I think I may have to take a break from doing wholesale orders or at least like definitely decrease the amount of wholesale orders that I do and just for like a month or even like two to three weeks so that I can kind of get a grip because there's so many things that I'm neglecting at this point and I just kind of need to get everything up to date and in order and then I can be able to take on more orders and focus on punching them. It is now seven o'clock. I've been sitting at my desk contemplating what I'm gonna do now and I just looked at boxes on Uline for the punching needle boxes and they're expensive. They're so expensive. The size box that I need. 
Good morning. It is 7.30 in the morning. It's Tuesday. I'm wearing the same sweater as yesterday because I love this sweater so much and I finally found it. It was in my garage with all my market stuff. I don't know why, but I just washed it the other day. So I'm gonna wear it because it's the most comfiest sweater ever and I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't drop out. We are going to get straight to punch needling. I woke up early and didn't dilly daddle this morning so that I could get started and finish this before I go to Pilates. I'm gonna try really hard. I have T minus three hours to do this until 10.30 and then at 10.30 I need to get changed and go. So if I don't take any breaks and I just punch needle for the next three hours, I'll be fine. Um, even if I have to finish like 20, 30 minutes when I get back, that's okay. Because I made a mistake yesterday. I said taxes were on Wednesday. They're actually today. So right after my Pilates class, I have to come home, change my clothes, and then I'm going to go straight to taxes with my mom. So I'm going to get started on this frame. I have six mug rugs to do and then four car coasters. I think I should get it done in the three hours. So let's get to hustling also placed a gigantic restock of air fresheners i know every time i do a restock i always say it's huge but this time it's literally huge i think i spent like almost twenty five hundred dollars on a restock so this is the most i've ever spent i'm trying to stock up for both market season wholesale orders and regular orders i'm bringing in a like a whole bunch of new designs and restocking a whole bunch of old ones so i'm very excited and the gone to the beach design that i bought on etsy i realized that it said gone to the the beach instead of gone to the beach so i purchased the new one and i made the new air freshener in the non-typo version so that we don't have a typo this time anyway that's the plan that's the gist gave you a synopsis of what's been going on in my brain i will see you guys once we are back from taxes i probably won't pick up the camera to talk until after because i kind of have a really jam-packed morning but I did make a to-do list, so we have lots of things to do when we get back. Anyway, okay, I'll see you when I'm done. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm back from taxes. It is currently 5.30. I just had dinner, so I did get back at around like 4.30. But yeah, taxes took a long time. I'm a bit stressed after that, but it's done. Pat myself on the back. The stress is over. So now what I'm going to do, oh, my head. I just printed out a couple of orders that I need to package right now. They're just air freshener orders. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to run to Staples because I'm gonna print these all out with FedEx labels so that while I'm at Staples, I can just send that out. Here she is. I finished it. My hand is extremely sore, but she's done. It's very loose. You can't tell, but anyway. Um, and then I'm going to cut them and glue them or cut them and then maybe glue them tonight. You can come. <laughs> I know you were talking at the moment, Eric. I'm going to cut them because they're loose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's recording. <laughs> eight of these coasters today.
I finally finished doing the coasters. <laughs> Feels like I've been working on coasters all day, but I finished them all. I got them all, all the threads like untangled. These are all the coasters for orders. There's four of them for orders. And then this is the beginning of another wholesale order that I'm working on. So yeah, I am now going to set these aside with their packing slips so that I can pack them tomorrow morning. But right now, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shower first because I feel gross and nasty from Pilates and just like I haven't showered all day. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to print out a mouse pad sublimation sheet so I can press it tomorrow because I just got a restock of the sublimation mouse pad blank things. And then I'm gonna sit down and I'm going to kind of figure out what I wanna do for summertime and like approaching market season because I have been applying to a bunch of markets and trying to get into some. I tried to get into this one that I did last year, but they aren't answering my email and I'm so sad because I really, really, really love that one. So I feel like they've just ghosted me and I don't know what the reason is. Is my email not going through? Like, are they just not accepting me? Like you would have thought they would have maybe have replied back to me, but they didn't. So I don't know. I'm kind of just looming in the air with that one, but I really, really wanted to do that one. But I found a couple more that I did last year that I do want to do again and they've actually lowered the price, which I'm so surprised for because, but I just can't decide if I want to do a six by four or a 10 by 10 booth. Last year I did the Toronto Art Crawl, or no, the Liberty Village, I think. Oh no, I think it was the Art Crawl actually. So I did the Art Crawl, but that Art Crawl booth was almost $500 and I did not do well. Like I did good, but not well. So I need to really sit down and start planning market stuff because my first market is in May. I think the first weekend of May, May 2nd. I want to say um so i need to kind of get my ducks in a row for that i found this really 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 cute display that i want to order so i think i'm gonna bite the bullet and do it it's very expensive it is so incredibly expensive it's like 700 dollars. it's for like a kiosk but it lays flat so i'm really changing my booth this year i want to really elevate my booth setup and i'm gonna go more into depth about this in like a market vlog but I'll just kind of give you the gist. I want to have a kiosk where I have like my packaging stuff, my boxes, my, I mean my bags, my iPad, my card reader, all that kind of stuff in my kiosk with a sign in the front. And then I want to have like my tables on the side of my booth and this will also help me for when I do indoor markets because I have a couple lined up already for indoor markets that don't require a tent but I want to kind of have that like store-ish boutique looking space so I think the kiosk will really bring it together and then that way I can still have my sign or my banner on the front of the kiosk which is perfect so I'm going to shower and then I'm going to sit and I'm going to kind of figure out maybe I'll drop a plan of kind of what I want and what displays I need to buy because I think I'm going to be dropping quite a bit of money on these displays. So let me figure it out and then we'll see what we're working with. And when I have some sort of idea, maybe I'll share it with you guys, but that's kind of what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the night. And then I'm gonna go to bed because I'm tired. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I am not fully ready for the day yet, but I just got my Starbucks. I know I said I wasn't gonna be buying Starbucks, but today was the day that Starbucks was necessary. So I got a matcha. I'm in my matcha era. I This reminds me of like, I think last summer when I was obsessed with matcha. Actually, no. Technically, I was obsessed with matcha when I turned 18 and I moved to Ottawa and I tried Emma Chamberlain's matcha for the first time. And I was literally obsessed with matcha for like that whole entire time. But I am in a matcha kick because ever since the stomach flu or food poisoning that I had, I have not been able to drink coffee fully without literally gagging at the thought and the taste of it. So I'm doing matcha instead because I still need a little bit of caffeine. But yeah, and I love green tea, so I'm drinking matcha instead. Anyway, I'm gonna go and drop all this garbage off in my car at the garbage dump, and then we're gonna go back home and we're gonna get to working. I wanna show you guys what I was working on last night before I went to bed, so that's the plan. Okay, so I'm back home now, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print out the car coaster backing cards, cause I need one more to package up a car coaster order. And then I'm going to also package up all the orders for Etsy and my website and get those sent off now 
or get them like ready to be sent off so I can drop them when I go to my Pilates class today and then I think I'm gonna prep a new frame as well and I also want to share with you guys what I created last night so I was working on some new market um, like signage and stuff so I ordered or I'm about to place the order right now with the new designs that I made. But I'm going to order a new banner and a table runner. So that, like a table runner is something I've always wanted. Because the way that I'm going to have my booth set up is I want a table on the side. And then when people like look at the table, I want my pink tablecloth and then the table runner to be hanging off. So you can see my branding there. It will be good for content, for photos, for just the way that my booth looks. I purchased a checkout stand. So that will be coming at the end of March. It's March 20th, so next week. And I'm so excited for that. So I have some cool new projects coming up. And then I'm going to make a sign for the front of my checkout stand with my logo on it so that you can see it. And if I don't get the chance to do that, I'm going to make, um, I'll use the table runner on it. And then I'm using the banner on the back of my tent for any canopy events that I do so any outdoor events I think most of my events this year are outdoor which is fine because I really do love the outdoor events I love having a 10 by 10 space I think only one of the markets I have a 8 by 8 space or maybe a 6 by 8 I have a smaller space for the indoor market but then all my other markets are either 8 feet by 8 feet or 10 by 10 and they all need a canopy anyway so they're technically all 10 by 10 which is so exciting because I'm so excited for market season and then I have another update how I'm gonna do like deal my, my wholesale stuff so I sat down last night and I was kind of thinking like hmm what should I do in terms of having more time for markets during the summertime and then being able to really focus on making the punch needle stock for those markets Sorry, you can probably hear Angel. She's crying at the door. I have to let her down or something because she's literally crying so much. Um, but let me just finish what I'm saying here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove or put out of stock all the punch needle stuff on my fair so that nobody can place orders for punch needle during the summer months. I was originally going to put my whole wholesale on pause, like vacation mode. For the months of like April, May, and June because most of my markets are in May and June. I think I might like book one or two in July but none in August because I'm going to be going away in August. But anyway, I was going to do vacation mode but then I figured that once I take it off vacation mode, I don't know what the algorithm is like on fair but I know that whenever I put my Etsy on vacation mode and then once I take it off like all my stuff is like hidden from the search bar and stuff like I don't get a lot of traffic for like a couple months after that so I think that the best bet for me would be to just take off all the punch needle stuff since that's what takes the longest and people can still place wholesale orders for notebooks, bookmarks, air fresheners, and stickers and so I'm going to try to make a, a bunch of new designs and launch those on the shop. I have a bunch of bookmarks that I'm going to, or bookmark designs that I'm going to get on Etsy. And then I'm going to make those and list them. So I want to try to get more of the other stock made for the summer months. And I have a huge air freshener restock coming, I think, the second week of April, if I'm not mistaken. So I will have a bunch of summer stock as well in terms, and I ordered a lot. I ordered 200 of some different designs as well. Which is good because I need to have a lot of stock for summertime because air fresheners sell really well and especially because if I want to have a separate stock for my market so that's why I ordered so much. So that's basically the plan and the gist of what I figured out. Let me get to packing these orders because I have a Pilates class at 11 o'clock then I have to go pick up my yarn at the yarn store that I didn't do yesterday. There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves so Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow I just placed... My printer is making noises. I just placed the order for my table runner and my new banner. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. I'm finally getting like my branding to be cohesive. 
I'll try and insert a picture of what my my current banner looks like. I still love it. It's still like very on brand, but I've really changed the branding to not be white text on a color background. Now it's like a cream background with colorful text with my brand colors and then brown as my like slogan or like whatever little text I want to add. So this new banner slays so much. I'm so excited. I used a local company in Toronto actually. They didn't have pickup. I would have definitely went to go pick it up instead, but they did ship it for like eight bucks. So we love that slay. It's currently 1020 and I'm going to cut the vinyl sticker backing cards and then the car coaster backing cards that I just printed out and then get them all set up with the orders. I'm going to write the thank you cards quickly so that when we come back from Pilates, Walmart and getting the yarn, I can package up these orders. I was gonna do it before, but then I got caught up with ordering the banners. So it's okay. I still have so much time. It's only Wednesday, and I'm gonna get these orders out and then I'll drop them at the post office later today because they do have to go out today. But I needed to order this stuff. I'm so excited for market season. I'm getting like really pumped up and not so much like anxious like I normally do because I feel like with me being able to take a step back from wholesale during the summertime and getting really focused with market season, I'm just really excited, especially with, with this new booth setup that I'm gonna try and do. I feel like it's really gonna take my booth to the next level and really help me succeed in this market season. I always do well in market seasons, but in the past, I have really gotten lazy, especially the second half of the summer last year. I got extremely lazy when it comes to markets because I got so busy with wholesale. So I want to really be able to put my best foot forward with market season this year and really see if this makes a difference with putting like all my energy into it, changing my booth setup to be more cohesive and just look really aesthetic. I feel like that will make more people walk into my booth. I'm really excited to make some signage and I made new packaging stickers. Let me show you quickly. I used to do packaged on YouTube and packaged on TikTok stickers when I was in my old office space. <laughs> I miss that place so much. Um, <laughs> I do miss it, but I don't at the same time, but I do. Anyway, let me not cry about that. So I made new packaging stickers. I have been working with Munbin. I'll leave the link down below to the Munbin Amazon page where you can find all the labels that I have, my label printer and all that kind of stuff. Because honestly, this label printer is such a slight. Plus it's pink, so it gets extra points for that. But I literally use it every single day to print shipping labels and also to print all my packaging stickers. Other than my address labels, those I print with sticker paper. But anyway, um... They're great. They don't use any ink, so I don't have to use my printer because I go through packaging stickers like it's nobody's business. So I love that it's no ink. I don't have to replace the ink. It's just thermal and they come out so good. These are the new ones that they came out with and they sent me. The holographic, mm -hmm. the quality unmatched. The stickers are so thick, which is good because they're durable. So I use these on the outside of my packages, sometimes on the inside if I'm feeling lazy, but I like to use these on the outside because they don't get all like bashed up from the post office. Whereas like these ones are a bit thinner. So I use them on the inside of the packaging, but they have so many different designs. They have a heart design. Let me see if I have it here. They have like these heart stickers. I think they have red hearts. They have like this little scalloped flower looking one that has like a gradient on it. I want to get those because those are so pretty. And then they also have like these labels as well, rectangle labels that you can use. And this is what I used to use for my packaged on social media stickers. But I made a new design that I like better. So we love this. This holographic one prints a bit more black and dark than these pink ones. The white labels print darker as well. I don't know why these ones don't print as like of a rich black as these ones or the white ones, but they're still cute nonetheless. And yeah, so again, I'll leave the link down below if you want to check out Munbin, but these labels, favorite, label printer, favorite, even my label holder is from Munbin, so everything is such a slight, we love them, and so many people use the Munbin label printer. Like, they have blue, they have white, they have black, they have Bluetooth, so many different things. Anyway, let me get to doing what I was going to do now, and I will, um, we'll probably meet again once I'm back. Will you carry me like I am? Back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. If I 
I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I'd knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best belief The other ring on my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds When I return from my skin and bone I'm remembering the words you told Back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone So I finished packaging up all the orders. Let me grab them. Here are all of the orders I packaged today. No wholesale orders today because I'm still working on them all. But I'm going to go and check on the crock pot because I just realized I haven't turned it at the half hour mark or at the halfway mark. So I need to go do that um, before I burn the meatballs. And then I'm gonna go pick up my brother from school because it's literally freezing outside. So I'm just about to head to pick up my brother from school. But I just found that I already had a pre-stressed frame just hiding behind my desk. So I traced, traced some designs on them. So as you can see, I have two daisy designs and a strawberry. So I think I'm going to stick with a daisy design for the first punch needle box. I am going to be doing a circled daisy coaster. Like I said from the beginning, I was wanted to do a circle one. But then I changed my mind halfway through and then I was like, well, I'll do like a daisy die cut. But no, we're sticking a circle. I think the circle will look the best and it will be the best for beginners because I'm just going to assume that a lot of the people ordering the punch needle kits have never done punch needle before. So that's what we're going with. So I'm gonna do two of them. I'm gonna do one as the exemplar. I'm actually gonna glue and do the felt and all that stuff so that I can take pictures for then the instruction manual that I'm gonna make. I still don't know if I'm gonna be doing a, an online instruction manual or if I'm gonna be doing a physical one. If I do a physical one, I'm gonna print out, print them out at Staples on like a thicker paper-ish kind of thing. I don't wanna do it here because it's gonna be too much work. So I'll print them out at Staples. one thing about me is that my hair is going to be in a bun 80% of my life and this bun doesn't even look good but anyway I just like my hair out of my face and that's the whole reason why I cut it and then I still end up having it up anyways anyway good morning everyone it is Thursday I am so excited for the freaking weekend <laughs> So I just prepped the new frame. I have literally the whole frame is Daisy Cluster Coasters. If you can see, I have a bunch of different colors. We have green, peach, magenta, pink, purple. And then I have a Etsy order that has to go out on Saturday, which is so odd because I never have orders that need to ship on the weekend. Usually it will fall over into Monday. So it's really weird, but just one. So I'm gonna do that today so I can have it finished by tomorrow and ship it out tomorrow. So that is the plan for the day. I'm gonna try to do eight mug rugs today because normally I can take three hours and finish eight. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna work on, I might do nine. That way I can get three colors done. I think I might work and do like the green, the magenta and the purple today. 
and then I'll do the peach, the pink, and the two car coasters tomorrow. I ordered the boxes for the punch needle boxes, so that's from Uline. It should come tomorrow, or the latest it will come is Monday. And then I'm going to make the instruction manual this weekend. I'm going to, I have the, this thing that I made yesterday that I have to cut glue and glue the backing on so that I, but I have to take pictures of like all the steps that I can add it for the instruction manual um, so that I can have pictures in the instruction manual because some people are visual and it might help. And then I need to kind of clear out my shelves here. And I'm going to include that in the April reset video because I usually do organizing, decluttering, etc. in those videos. So I will film those clips for the reset video. So you won't see that in this video, but I think when this video is uploaded, it will be next week. So the reset video will be coming like very shortly after that. Never met someone like you, uh, felt something like your touch. I wish we would have met tonight. Sure, I've had lovers in my past. Won't lie, I've had a blast. But none of them had your humor. They can't compare. No one could ever do. Hopefully, you're not looking at my clean laundry that I need to put away in the background. But this is what I've finished so far. I'm about two hours in. I've almost finished six of them. I'm doing them in parts. So I'm starting with the color and then I'm doing the white flowers. And then once I do all the colors and the flowers for all nine designs I'm doing today, then I'll just go in and fill in the yellow part because that's the shortest amount of time. But I'm almost done. I'm doing pretty well, making good time. My hand's not sore. The only part that's sore is my finger. Um, but I'm using my new needle, which is doing so well because this old needle that I use is like this um, squishy part. It moves up and down. Like I said, this needle is like two years old. So this is super annoying. Like when I'm trying to punch needle, this thing is going all the way down and it really hurts my hand because I constantly have to keep pushing it up. So this one is new and so this part doesn't move yet. So it's been really good. I did need to break the needle in a little bit first with the first kosher that I did. So it was getting caught on some of the threads a little bit, but I just took like a nail file and kind of filed down the side. So it was getting a little bit dull um, and that seemed to work. And now the needle works perfectly. So I'm going to take a break and I'm going to go change my clothes because I'm not dressed in my Pilates workout outfit yet. Then I'm going to feed the cat some snack. And then once I come back, we'll finish up the last hour or so of the punch needle. I've finished two mug rugs for the white flowers and then I'm gonna do the purple and then we'll be done. Okay guys, so I changed my glasses because the other glasses were so dirty and they were really giving me a headache. So now we're back with these gold frames. Not that it really matters, but it just, I look so different now that I'm seeing myself in the viewfinder because I'm so used to the other ones. But anyway, I finished this frame. I'm going to close this vlog out for the day because I punch needled for literally three hours and 50 minutes today and it's now and it's now 4 30 so yeah I punch needled for a long time my hands hurt and my spirits I'm still happy and I'm still excited about all the new things that are to come but I just but I just really want to figure out what is going on with my frame and why it's doing that and ripping I've been using this frame since December and it was doing really fine up until maybe two weeks ago so I have no idea what's going on but I'm gonna try to troubleshoot it this weekend and figure out what the heck's going on I'm gonna finish this frame tomorrow hopefully I'd, I really wanted to try and get like another set of three of daisy clusters done but I'm just really not in the mood to punch needle anymore I'm getting annoyed with the frame and I feel like if I just push it too far today I'm gonna break the frame or like break the fabric by like just punch needling too much I guess I don't know so I'm not gonna punch needle anymore but I'm gonna close this video out here I'm going to work on rearranging the shelves and stuff and that's gonna be in the April reset video so once the video is up I'll go in and edit the description so it will be in the description once the video is up but until then it will be up later on in the week that you see this video 
But if you did enjoy watching this week's video, I know it was a long one. I did a lot of talking. I hope you guys did enjoy this style of video. I'm trying to do more longer videos. I have really enjoyed working this week. I just am a little bit down about the frame and the punch needle stuff, but it's okay. I'm gonna figure it out, so all is good. I hope you enjoyed this video, and let me know down below what kind of new videos or other types of videos you would like to see, because I would love to start making some other videos in between making the studio vlogs every week, so let me know, um, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed my content so you don't miss any more of the things that I post here, and I'm gonna leave you guys here, and I'll see you all next week. Bye! Thank you.